it up and just see what happens. So this is my first test to try to see if I can get the motors going. I'm not too sure about the pin out of the, uh, of the motor controller. So I've just connected them up and I'll power it up and just see what happens. Yeah, there was definitely some smoke coming out. So after doing some testing, I worked out that I can't actually use these drivers. Uh, they're just, yeah, they just won't work with this controller. Uh, I j only used them because I had them uh, just from another project. But now I've uh, got four of these, which are TB6600 and um, yeah, I'll try to somehow mount them in here and, and yeah, see how they work. Well, hopefully they do. So I'm not really having much luck with all the wiring. Uh, I thought it's all gonna be really easy, but I think I managed to burn down a five volt power supply from this module. Um, so I now I put an external five volt supply. And I think uh, just this motor controller was too much for it. Although it should have been just logic uh, five volt for a logic supply so yeah I've, I've managed to burn down quite a few things uh, anyway more more than I normally do but now uh, everything seems to be working again I think the program has found the controller and now it's time to see if, if I can get the X axis working So after many unsuccessful tests later, I finally got it working. So now I can just use these two buttons to control this, which is uh, really, really great. Uh, my most recent fail was that I connected the enable pins here and this was actually what what was stopping it working so finally I have uh, 
got all my axes moving, which is really good because I had a fair bit of uh, trouble getting them, uh, getting the motor drivers working. But yeah, now I can console it from here. 